Hey Tay here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. So the Meta Quest 3 for sure started a mixed reality revolution. That thanks to the new depth corrected color, higher resolution cameras, and the new depth sensor. That was a mouthful. And while mixed reality, the ability to play your games in your own environment is still at its infancy, it's amazing to see the awesome experiences that devs created in just a few months as there are starting to be apps available for every single taste. So in this video, we're gonna go through some of my favorites, the coolest MR apps out there, of course. And I think that is actually the best way to actually demo or play with these things for the first time. As well, it helps a lot with motion sickness and you never feel disconnected as we're still present in the real world. On top of that, I'm gonna tell you also a little trick to actually enhance your plane area indefinitely, even over the boundary system that Meta chose for us. You know, if you wanna use your entire house for those pesky zombie invasions. So well, let's get into it. Let's start with some easy and sitting experiences, like puzzling places. This is a 3D puzzle game, so you have to rebuild small dioramas of places around the world from, you guessed it, you know, puzzle pieces. What's particular and amazing here is that you're not gonna use some weird 3D renderers, but these are actually photogrammetry captures of places at extra high resolution. Photogrammetry is actually extra fascinating by itself because it uses hundreds or even thousands of pictures to make a single 3D object. And the cool thing is that it preserves every small detail and you can actually look at a real thing and not at a reproduction renderer. So not textures, but the actual thing. Kind of a future of photography, if you ask me. You can of course play this in mixed reality and even with friends in the same place. And there are so many different dioramas to explore that, you know, you're never gonna get bored. You can also decide how many pieces the puzzle is gonna be and it can get very, very challenging, trust me. And if you really like puzzles, this one is for sure easily one of the most brain spinning apps out there. Yep, it started like a VR puzzle game, but I think that in MR with hand tracking, it takes completely a new life. And of course, we're talking about cubism. So imagine Tetris, but this time in 3D and extra complicated, at least for my slow brain. This is actually awesome to introduce people to hand tracking and mixed reality in general. And you really need to get concentrated to solve some of the harder puzzles. This is for sure something to have in your library to keep your brain in check. Now back to dioramas, this is actually a dream from the past. I grew up with Legos, as probably many of you. So when this game hit the store, it was an instant buy for me. And it was kind of hidden actually, there was no much marketing behind it. Probably because it came out in the same period of Asker Vrat and Assassin's Creed Nexus. Lego Brick Tales makes you follow a story and adventure in big Lego dioramas that you can place everywhere in your room. And of course, if we talk about Lego, there's gonna be some building involved. So the game will ask you to build bridges, repair machineries, etc., etc., all just giving you the pieces available at the time. And like when you were a kid, you will have to pick them one by one and connect them to each other to make your creations work. It's hard to express how cool it's to see these creations in your own place, but I guess that if you went to a Lego store in the past, you might have an idea. Surely a great app for grown up that wanna revisit the past like me and also for newcomers. Now, you knew that this was coming, but the next one in the list is Dmail. This is like to play D&D and Warhammer, but with your miniature actually animating in front of you. You have to go through different dungeons and it gets very complicated and hard indeed, but I could think that you can actually play with up to four friends, all in your same room with these dungeons appearing in front of you. And by the way, your friends are gonna have some cool mask on their faces. Of course, this is a VR mode, but also an MR mode, and I think that it really shines in there. And that's the way I'm actually playing it most of the time, because I have to admit I actually have nights with friends to just play D-mail all night. Again, this game is brutally difficult sometimes, but finishing a dungeon has one of the most satisfying feeling in MR. This is gold. If you want to relax though, this arrived from a week, and we're talking about Ocean Rift. If you ever dream of having an aquarium, or even better, to live in an aquarium, the new MR mode is something to try for sure. 
You can create windows all around the room and place yourself at the bottom of the ocean. The coolest thing that this is gonna change even the tint of the pass-through if you want to reflect the color of the water and the depth to make you feel even more immersed. You can choose different scenarios and kind of fish and marine creatures and even interact with them with some games. I mean, having sharks swimming around you is kind of terrifying, but yet relaxing. It's really something to try and bring a sense of wonder, something that is missing many times in VR. Okay, but talking about animals, this is actually a bit funnier. Did you ever imagine to have a living Tamagotchi in your house, a virtual pet? Well, now you can with Nico Atsume perfect kitty collector. The main objective here is pretty much in the title. You have to collect the different cats, helping them with their needs. Some like to eat a lot of food, some will play with a ball, pillows, etc. The little perk is that you can, of course, pet those little guys and even grab them. And if you have a wolf like me at home, it's not gonna be able to actually see them. And that's better to keep them safe. Also, this is for sure a different kind of experience, but how can we not mention the Game Pass app, Xbox Game Pass app for the MetaQuest that just arrived. Well, with this, you're gonna be able to actually immerse yourself, kind of, with a very big screen in front of you in your own environment and just chill out, relax with your Xbox controller. So you can play Starfield, Halo Infinite, and all the EA games like the new Dead Space remake, all in there. For sure, an easy free app, beside this subscription to add to your library. Moving on, let's get to some action and let's play some sports. If you like table tennis, 11 VR just added a new mixed reality mode. So yeah, as you can imagine, you can now place your ping pong table tennis table everywhere you want in your room, of course, if it fits, and play in the most realistic way possible. This game can actually get very hard, high difficulties, but it really feels crazy realistic for the physics. So if you really like table tennis here, you're gonna feel more at home than you can imagine. And I'm not gonna go for too long here, but if you always wanted a pool table, but didn't have enough space or the money, those things can get crazy expensive. For VR pool updated its apps with mixed reality. And while I have to say that the controls are still a bit wonky and need some work, well, the premise is there. And with multiplayer, you might have the perfect men's room accessory. This time portable. If your competitive mind calls you though, well, next in line is Thrill of the Fight with a new MR mode. You can actually bring your adversaries directly in your room and well, of course, punch them. I was always a bit scared about this kind of games in VR and never actually wanted to punch a wall instead. That will, that will hurt. But a good thing is that in mixed reality, you can actually see the wall and well, focus on, well, punching the person. It's also pretty good for workouts. This one is actually on side quest, so it's not actually completely perfect, but well, it's pretty terrifying. It's called Huntify and it's pretty much phasmophobia, but you guessed it. Well, at this point of this video, it's pretty easy, let's be honest, in your house. The cool thing is that you can even turn off the lights with your pass-through and go around with the virtual torch to find or try to avoid these weird monsters. So if you wanna spook some friends, well, this gave me for sure some scares. Going on with the list, this is probably the one I'm playing the most, to be honest, and is Drop Dead the Cabin. If you played as much Nancy Zombies as me in the past on Call of Duty, you might understand why. This is a mixed reality addition to their Drop Dead game. The cool thing is that you have to defend your house from hordes of zombies that will get more difficult after every round. They will come in from windows, doors, and sometimes even walls. And that's the only game with which I actually hit the limit of the play area because I kept wanting more to have a reason to run around the house. So because the quest is kind of annoying in this regard, it actually stops you from going outside your boundaries, even if we are in a MR. At the end of the day, you know, the boundaries are because you don't see what's around you, but if you have the pass through, you actually see it, so that doesn't make any sense, Meta. There's actually a little easy trick to be able to use your entire house for this kind of games. And that's disabling the boundaries in the dev mode. Be careful though, because if you do it before actually opening the game, it's not gonna work at all. But if you actually load the game and start to play and then go in the settings, general, developer mode, and disable the boundaries, you're gonna be able to play in your entire area without any interruption. And you guessed it, the entire house becomes its zombie arena. 
Just don't tell Meta that I told you. Back to the game, by the way, they're just updated with some new Santa hats for zombies and a new mechanic with leeches. You gotta be careful with those because they're gonna attach to your arms and make you drop your weapon. And trust me, you don't want that to happen because things can get pretty frenetic. As a result, it makes the game even more frenetic and running around more useful than ever. The game has different modes, by the way, more arcadey with easier reloading if you want, of course, a more arcadey experience or even the classic reload for survivalists like me. Just bear in mind that it's gonna get very, very hard. But hey, you wanna be ready for an actual zombie apocalypse. You have to start your radio transmission and defend yourself and the radio from the horde that will try to stop you. This game is for sure the most immersive from me. I don't know how many times I actually played it already. And fun fact, if you watch my Quest 3 review, there was a blurred part in there because I was so excited I put it in the video, but I didn't realize that it was still under embargo. Luckily, uh, it didn't go online at all with that. Hey, these were my top picks for the mixed reality games available right now in 2023. And I can't really wait to see what's gonna be available in 2024 and onward with, with this technology is gonna evolve even more. At the end of the day, as we said, we are still in the infancy of mixed reality. And I think that these are the best examples of projects that actually shine in mixed reality even more than in virtual reality. They really nailed it. Now with the Quest 3 and the new depth sensor, we are soon gonna have occlusion also in many of these games. Of course, if the devs will support it, it I think that will bring even a better immersion when using them. So every object in your room, every thing, even your hands will occlude it and make these holograms feel even more as they were actually there. But anyway, I know that there are so many more mixed reality gems out there. Please let me know if you wanna suggest something uh, to other people down in the comments below. This might be the last video of the year for me. I hope so, I really need a bit of a vacation. So I wanna take the opportunity to actually, you know, tell you Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. If you receive one of these for Christmas, remember that mixed reality is better than you might think. Give it a try. And it's a very good way to actually impress family and friends and make them get one as well, so we have more people to play with. We are on a mission here, guys. But here you have it. As always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, join button there. To learn further, also the Patreon. Thanks for the Patreon. So join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video, probably next year. So, again, happy holidays, happy new year, Merry Christmas. I see you guys soon.